106.5 KWIL. Hey, what's up guys? So today is going to be a really awesome day. Seriously awesome. And it is starting off right. This morning we are heading off to do my very first radio show, live radio, uh, on my favorite morning show, uh, Bob and Mark on K-Whale in Anchorage, Alaska. And seriously, I am excited, so excited. I don't know what we're gonna talk about. I think we're pretty much just gonna be shooting the breeze. Um, but still, it's my first time doing radio and everybody's always said I would be good at radio and it's something I've always wanted to do. So yes, what an awesome day. So I come all the way out to this radio station so you guys can listen to my Mean Kitty song? Yeah, yeah. man. <laughs> That's right. This is Alaska. We don't have cable yet. This <laughs> is as good as it gets, man. Right. All right. right. Just saying, uh, it's dark here for nine months a year. It's not that bad. I'm, you know, it's... This guy's been here for how long? Hey, look, here's the thing. I know it's not going to be that bad. I've heard it's five hours of daylight. That's all you really need. Take those five hours. You get out and do stuff. That easy. <laughs> Maybe some of us can't escape the cubicle. We don't have the YouTube following. If no, we don't you don't walk around with a camera on a stick. <laughs> Within seconds, every line filled up. And so off the air, we've been just talking with people all over the world. All over the Earth, world. Australia, yes. Maine, California, Washington State, all over. Hold on. Oh, here we go. Here's another one. Hi, who is this and where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Pamela and I'm calling from Kentucky. I know you don't Hi, want Pamela. to talk to us, so here's Corey. Pamela, what's going on? So I'm on my way home and I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who listened, everyone who called in, and of course you guys for watching because all of this, this is amazing. This is the happiest I've ever been in my life. At this point, right now, this is the happiest I've ever been. So now the office has carpet. Let's check it out. Oh, look at that. Look how nice. Oh, it smells good. They did a good job. Yeah, really good job. Oh. oh, it feels so good. Not too hard, not too soft, just enough to put something over and roll my chair across, and it's gonna look really good with my furniture. Oh, it's gonna be nice to have my office finally. So we are a little early to our destination, so we're gonna check out some places in Girdwood. Well, this is really helpful. There's a to-do list right there. Okay, I have to do all of these things. Every single one of them. And I will. Oh my gosh, we have to do this. This looks really, really awesome. All right, what is a word I can say that's not beautiful? Something, a different word. Give me a different word. What's a word? Are you asking us? Yeah. Oh. Stupendous. Stupendous. This is stupendous. That doesn't sound right. Though. No, it doesn't. Mark. Gnarly. Gnarly. <laughs> that is pretty gnarly. <laughs> Majestic. Fantabulistical. Super Alaska fragilistic is Bialisnocious. And here we are at the Alaska Wildlife Conservation Center. Wow, check out this ice formation. Never seen anything like that before. Got enough layers? Yeah, I'm gonna put more on when I get inside. <laughs> it's freezing. So here we are at the uh, gift shop. Good, Good to meet you. you. you so too. you're gonna be our uh, tour guide today? I am. Cool. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about this place. What is this place? Uh, this is the Alaska Wildlife Conservation Center. <laughs> My name is Suzanne. I'm a naturalist intern here um, for the year. So I started over the summer and I'll be here through the winter as well. Um, but this place started in 1993. Hi, nice Hi. to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it was founded by our founder, Mike Miller, and he lives on site with his family. Um, we have over 200 animals on 200 acres here and we'll get to see a lot of them. So, awesome. Yeah. Do you guys want some coffee or anything to start? I'm yeah. gonna grab some. I'm already so full of energy, but go ahead. Okay. <laughs> so this is so dangerous. We have to sign a waiver. Yes. This is awesome. Paperwork. That's awesome. <laughs> What's your name, by the way? Scott. Scott. Corey. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. So we're heading to this place. What what is this? Where are we going? It's uh, an observation deck here. Uh huh. Um, so we can walk up here really quick and check out. We've got our male elk. Oh my gosh. Over here in this enclosure. <laughs> it's still technically the rutting season, the mating season. Ah. Um, so. Uh, the males can get pretty aggressive. <laughs> our male moose, our uh, reindeer, and our elk. So um, the elk in particular, we, we like to separate so they don't fight too much over the ladies. You say you're gonna release them into the wild. Where do you release them? Uh, these guys are gonna go to Akun Island mm -hmm. in the Aleutians. So you know uh, the Aleutian chains um, off of Alaska. If you hold uh, your hand up like this, uh -huh. that's how a lot of locals will, <laughs> ah, <okay. laughs> will show non-locals. Um, 
the geography of Alaska. So the Aleutians are that long uh, island chain um, out off this uh, side of the state. So um, Akun Island is, is on that chain. If you guys don't mind, I'm just gonna give you some gloves to put on. Just for our exam? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm not bending over first. Mark, go ahead. All right, you ready? You ready? There you go. Just give that to you. Oh, you make that look so good. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. And that's why his name's Snickers, because he loves peanuts. We don't actually feed him Snickers candy bars. He's packed with peanuts. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so he's got uh, these guard hairs here uh -huh. um, that are kind of like our own hair, a denser layer of fur um, oh. underneath that, and then underneath those two layers, that's where you'll see the quills. Oh. Yeah, so there are, most of them are about an inch, an inch and a half long. Um, and they're all barbed. They have microscopic barbs on ah. the tips of them. Um, so when they are embedded in something's an animal's flesh, the body yeah. heat causes those barbs to expand out like fish hooks oh. and uh, stay trapped in, in uh, your skin. So <laughs> make them a lot, uh, pretty hard to pull out, like an arrow or something. See, I always got, thought the barbs were like down low, kind of. He does in the back. have Whoa. some, yeah. He's a little you sensitive it, there, but he's used to being handled. But he's got some longer quills mm -hmm. um, and thicker ones on uh, that okay. area too, because that's his more vulnerable uh, area of his body. Oh my gosh. You want to feed him a peanut after this one? Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is so cute. <laughs> and can you see his teeth? Yeah. They're super orange, right? Uh huh. Yeah, they're kind of like a beaver's. He's got two, um, two front uh, teeth on the top there. Um, they're pretty long and bright orange because they're coated in iron. Yeah. yeah. Now he's got a smell to him. I'm trying to <laughs> think of what that smell is. It's a very. It's almost. It's kind of like the you know guy on the subway in the corner of the subway. Yeah. Manhattan, you know. Kind of a. Uh, kind of <laughs> musty. Hasn't bathed in a while. Yeah, a little bit musty. Yeah, it's very musty. <laughs> So, um, but that is his scent. That's that's his oh. cologne, his Ode Snickers, and oh, Snickers. how he uh, attracts oh. the ladies. <laughs> wow, I love this snow. Look at it. It's just, it's just so frozen. It's not even snow. It's like ice on top of snow. Oh, interesting. Sorry, this is yeah. everything's new to me. Everything. No, don't apologize. <laughs> I love it too. <laughs> Nelson, don't boss Teddy around. <laughs> so one's Nelson and one's who? Uh, Teddy is the one on the left, yeah. Hi, Teddy. Hi. <laughs> they're, cute. they're so cute. And they're definitely very curious. <laughs> that is cool. That is so cool. Wow, look at this one. I know we're in the middle of doing this really cool stuff, but this is really cool. Wow. Wait, say that again. What is this? So this is my home. Uh, you live li You live here. This I is. Do. Yeah, I live at the top on the second floor uh, in this beautiful red barn. Um, and at the bottom live the moose and our eagle, our bald eagle, who, who we'll see in just a second. But yeah, this gosh. Is our, also our intern shelter. Oh my gosh. All right, so you guys can slide on in. Oh. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> Wow, look at this guy. Wow, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, so you can see his balance is kind of wonky uh -huh. uh, because he was missing a wing. Um, so when he stretched his wings out like that, you might have noticed that he only has his right wing. Oh. So he's a gunshot victim. Oh. oh. The bullet uh, damaged his left wing so badly that we had to amputate it when he came here uh, oh. nearly 20 years ago. Oh. Whoa. Okay, that's why you don't walk on this. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. I won't do that again. So this is Fluffy the muskox, and okay, why do you call him Fluffy when he is the dominant? <laughs> because during the winter time, uh, they, it's still early, early winter right now, but uh, during the thick of winter, uh, their kivu, that's their wool um, uh -huh. that you see, and uh, it turns uh, cream colored or white, and it actually just gets super, super, they just look like huge fluff balls, and you can't even see their faces, it'll just be covering their faces, it'll be really thick. Yeah, so this is... Um, our brand new bear boardwalk that was finished last summer, um, really state-of-the-art stuff, uh, and it was constructed um, with funds donated to us uh, via Sarah Palin, so we definitely thank her for that. But we've got some fish uh, and some 
uh, bones of moose here with some meat on them that we're oh, so they eat gonna moose? toss down to the bears. Yeah, all of our bear food is donated, um, and we get here's some <laughs> some nice. red salmon. Dinner time. Just get the slimy stuff off for you there. <laughs> oh, that looks yummy. It's I, th I think yeah. yours looks worse than Mark's. She's the second, she looks very ready. second largest bear, so she's, she oh, knows after JB gets she's hit. She's saying throw it. Throw it. Oh, All right. Oh, oh she, she's something else. She was just trying, saying yeah. where to throw it. Come on. There she goes. Yeah. Just give it to me. I got it. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> one hand. You think you can do it with I, one hand? I can do this. Oh, you, I can hold it for you. Are oh, you sure? I got it. I got it. Oh, big old hunk of meat. Yeah. I got it. There we go. So, oh god. That that I'm going to feed the bear. Here, bear. Bam. Ew. There you go. I'm getting kind of hungry. God, look how he just tore into the flesh. That's crazy. All right, so uh, this is a bear-proof garbage can. Um, it's really important when you live in Alaska and in bear country to dispose of your garbage properly. That's how we are able to keep our bears wild. So um, <laughs> it also can be human-proof if you don't know how to use them right. So um, to open up the lid, you just stick your fingers in like that and press, and voila. Oh, it's like a right car off. hood. Yeah, kind of, yeah, exactly. Just like a car hood. So we think we have a bear. We're not 100% sure, but okay, so there's this poop. And it's very, I don't know, like a, it, it wasn't like kibbly. Okay. Uh, it was very pudding with uh, some berries and nuts and all sorts of things. And I mean, massive. like poop with berries. Yeah. 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 Probably a bear. Probably yeah. a bear. Okay, mm -hmm. so yes, we have bears and I need one of those. And every Wednesday, <laughs> he's going to come make a visit. Awesome. Good to know. <laughs> so most people have rodent problems. Some people have cat problems. I have bear problems. Bear problems. That's I, I, I can't say I've ever had bear problems. Oh, I gotta love Alaska. That's a pretty wood bison. Wow, look at all the ice here. It looks like a little flower patch. This is so cool. Hi, sweetheart. So this is our fox food. Um, we've got, we feed him uh, twice a day with a little snack in the middle of the day. And he's got some dog treats right here, um, some steak, and then some chicken too. Okay. Gotta make sure all my pockets are zipped up um, because he is very wily. He is a fox. Um, <laughs> he'll let, if we're not careful, he'll steal, you know, whatever he can. So we do have him trained, um, so we like to, to knock before we come in and knock and he'll let us in, we'll push the door open. Hey buddy. So his name is Jade, after the state, Alaska State Gemstone. And they assumed he was orphaned. Um, so uh, like with the baby moose, a lot of you know good-hearted locals will come across a baby animal and automatically assume um, that it's been abandoned, when in all likelihood, <laughs> Uh, he was probably just playing in the area around his den because they start getting pretty curious at that age. Did pop? Good boy. <laughs> so he hid that for like... Yes, so that was definitely means it's one of his favorites. <laughs> um, and that's a behavior called caching uh, that fox will exhibit in the wild. Um, so oftentimes when they uh, come across something that's one of their favorite food items um, or they're not super hungry, and uh, they want to save food for later, um, they'll cache it or store it for later. Fox make over 28 different vocalizations. Um, so if you've heard the song, <laughs> Corey, what, do the what does the fox say? Mm -hmm. um, that's where it comes from. Oh. So he's got his favorite treat right now, which is a raw egg. <laughs> ah! And usually he... Uh, will cash raw eggs um, cool. because they are his favorite so he's, he's looking for the best spot right now. 
Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> that says, don't get any closer. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so awesome. Okay, you guys. All right, share. This is for sharing. Don't eat him. Come on. Come on, guys. Share. Look, there's one. Look, there's enough food for the both of you. No, no, not my shoot. No, don't eat my pants. What? Come on, guys. Come on now. Hey, not that side. No, I mean none of the pants. Not just that side. Come on. He's trying to eat. Hey, look, look. The bull's over here, dude. Has anybody told you you look like a pillow? Oh, no, I don't want any. It's okay. That's that's all for you. <laughs> uh -oh, what, is it? what do they smell like? Oh. <laughs> do they smell oh. musky? Oh. <laughs> okay, here, it's okay. Oh. here you go. <laughs> extra oh, love. Perfect. A little extra love. <laughs> this is so cute. No, nope, can't go with us. I'm sorry. You are so cute, though. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna head home. If you wanna help these guys out, if you wanna donate, which you definitely should because their cause is amazing, go to alaskawildlife.org and come here next summer when you come to Alaska because there's so much good stuff out here.